end up out here, Captain? Was there ever a time you wanted something more... normal? A family? A steady job somewhere you didn't need a blaster in hand? I'm just in this until I can retire rich. I don't know. It's hard to go back. I met a mercenary on Clackdoor 7 when I was in the brigade. He'd spent 20 years fighting for the Republic. I was 16, fresh off the ship. This guy gave me my first blaster. What kind of moron gives a blaster to some kid on a community service project? It was a war zone. I was the crazy one, going unarmed. I was just squeamish. I mean, sure, I'd handled a hunting rifle, but never anything aimed at people. This guy told me, gun's just a tool. You use it to destroy, or you use it to protect against those who would destroy you. And you took it to heart. Made me think different about guns. You can't protect the people you love if you're afraid to get your hands dirty. I brought Torchy home and my parents made me lock her up, told me not to wish away peace. I didn't have her when the Separatists came. Boy, Captain. Life with you is almost enough to get me missing the good old days. Ah, for Ord Mantell, where Separatists were bad and guns were good and we could just run in shooting. I'm not noticing a drop off in our rate of running in and shooting. Yeah, we just have to do so much thinking first. Why don't we have more fun on this ship? Back home when we needed a laugh, we used to run the Rontos in circles, then see if they could charge us without falling over. What about that time Risha gave Bodar a bath? <laughs> that was good fun. Hey, hey, maybe we could shave Bodar while he's sleeping. Bet he's not nearly as impressive without all that hair. What do you say? Just give me the word. I never like asking for favors, Captain, but I think maybe we know each other well enough by now. I want to look for my cousin Rona. She's all the family I got left, and I think she should know what happened. Never worry about favors, Corso. You're part of my crew. Thank you, Captain. Rona came with me when I left for the brigade, but she jumped ship at the first port. All she ever wanted was to get off Ord Mantell. I thought maybe we could track her down. You'd like her. She's really the reason I'm here. You two will be back together before you can say a verbal thirst vibroblade. Uh, a verbal... Th verbal... <sighs> so not that soon, then. Rona was kind of our family rebel. We used to have a blast together. She liked me to run interference, so her father never caught her on dates with off-worlders. I look forward to meeting her. On second thought, maybe I shouldn't introduce you two. Rona's always had a nose for trouble. I remember one time... Uncle came looking for Rona while she was on the shuttle pod with some Agamarian pirate. I was about 12. I didn't know how else to distract Uncle, so I started to fight. Got the whole ship confiscated. I never did find out how Rona got out of city jail. I found someone who knows my cousin Rona. He's a street doctor in Corson. Kind of a shady character, but... That's who Rona always drifted to. I think you really can get us to her, but... I know a scam when I hear one. Rona loved to walk that line. Every time Uncle caught her stealing, it would turn out she was sneaking cash to some mom with two kids on the street. She's the reason I know breaking the law has got nothing to do with being a good man. Let's just go to Coruscant and, and hear her friend out. Go ahead and ask for cash for the job if you want. I just I want to find Rona.
That sounds like slavery. Or worse, marriage. No thanks. I got no hold on you. Alderaan certainly is the prettiest world on our itinerary. Don't let all that breathtaking scenery fool you, though. This is the most dangerous planet of the core worlds. The nobles here could teach the Sith a few things about backstabbing and assassination. You should hide in my bunk, where it's safe. Tempting, but I'll take my chances with the nobles. I'm reckless that way. Every so often, the noble families spill their bloodlines fighting for the throne. The current succession war is the bloodiest on record. Since the Empire arrived to put its own puppet in charge, there's no telling who will come out on top. Sounds like a good place to turn a profit. There's nothing like a little political chaos to line a spacer's pockets. The first time I visited, I thought all the nobles were so glamorous. Then I saw the truth. These people don't know how lucky they are, or what they should do with their fortunes. They don't deserve to rule. I don't have much use for aristocrats. You just haven't met a good one. Maybe I'll introduce you to one, someday. Your first delivery is a piece of glaze cake. All you have to do is escort that antique power droid to House Organa's castle. Since House Organa runs this spaceport and their castle is right around the corner, dropping off the droid should be a quick run. Enough standing around. Let's haul jets. The droid belongs to a couple of young nobles, Len Teron and his sister Sidonia. Decent people, all things considered. Got it. I'd better get moving.
Lanka, please select an available travel route. Have a safe and pleasant stay. Corso Riggs, it's good to meet such generous souls in a place like this. I'm Dr. Hope. I like to think of myself as a messenger of mercy, caring for the poor, forsaken citizens of the underlevels. We don't need the pitch, just tell us what you know about Rona. I'd be happy to, but as a doctor I must put the needs of my patients first. First, tell us if you've got the goods on my friend's cousin. Rona, yeah, she's a hot one. Kiss you or kill you, you never know. You just tell us what you want and lay off talking like that. Well, who knew Rona had such a gallant protector? Right, so I've got some uh, life-saving medications that need delivering. Unfortunately, Coruscant Security only cares about the rich. They don't let anyone distribute uh, medications in the underlevels at all. Those folks deserve a fair shake. We're not the Blasted Empire. Good man. I knew you had the spark of compassion in you. The only way to get my meds down without getting stopped is to carry them inside a living body. What? They'll be safely stored in surgical plastic and implanted under the skin. My, uh, nurse can remove them on the other end. You still think this guy is on the up and up? No. Doesn't mean he doesn't know Rona. This was always Rona's kind of thing, breaking the law to do good under the nose of a corrupt authority. It's worth it if I get to see her. I'll just need you to come with me a moment, Master Riggs. Perfect. These vials should stay sealed for at least 12 hours, no problem. I'll tell my contact, uh, nurse, to expect you. When we get back, Rona better be waiting. Select an available travel route. 